No problem. My face is like the Dajjal. No problem. How about your ass? Shall I show you what will happen to your ass according to, the, to, to Allah? Allah, he said in the Quran that he will insert in your ass a chain in the size of each piece of it, which means each ring of it, is in the size of all the iron in the world. Why Allah, he concentrated too much in the ass of the Muslims and the ass of non-believers? Your God is the ass God. Have you ever heard of a God he want to punish the anus? Even his punishment is sexual. Anus, why in the anus? Why Allah want to insert in your anus? Anyone? Is that your Quran? Look at the first translation. Then fasten him with a chain, wherefore the length of is 70 cubits. Is that really what it says? Let us go to the tafsir. This is a chapter, uh, even the, ch look, it's, this is a miracle. We have to admit, look at this. The chapter number is 69, and the verse is about ass. What Allah will do to the ass and the anus? Huh? Let us go to Ibn Kathir and see. Okay, 69.32. This is not a Christian prince saying that. This is you. 69, Alhamdulillah. All right. This is Ibn Kathir. <coughs> 32. And you will see your prophet, he explained to us, Alhamdulillah, brother that Allah will bring a big chain and he will insert it in your anus and each ring of this chain is bigger than all the iron in the world how big is your anus? fasten him with the chain wherefore the length of it is 70 cubit Kabul Ahbar said every ring of it will be equal to the entire amount of iron around the world Al-Wafi reported that Ibn Abbas from Ibn Juraj, both they said, each cubit will be four, uh, uh, four arm length of, uh, uh, of an angel. <sighs> Look how big it is. Ibn Juraj reported from Ibn Abbas saying, فَأَسْلِكُوا Then fasten him. It will be entered into his buttocks. Hey, Abdul, are you there? Who is a Muslim? He is a specialist in buttocks. This is a god. Or this is a movie, or like terror horror movie, you know. He will put you, he will insert a chain in your buttocks. Where is that exactly, buttocks? If there's any Muslim sheikh, he will go in camera and explain to us how Allah will put the chain in the buttocks. How big the buttocks? I mean, how big the chain? How big your anus? And look here, it says, and he will pull it out from his mouth. Uh-oh. So Allah will insert the chain in your anus and he will take it from your mouth. This is the God torture? Or this is a sex movie of somebody perverted? My mouth is so close to... I don't know why the sound... This, uh, this microphone collect all kind of noise. Thank God. You know, Shaitan is not here, otherwise he would be farting every second. Because remember, the Prophet said, each time you say the name of Allah, Shaitan fart. This is your religion. This is God. God now is focusing in the anus of somebody disobey him. In the anus. So he will put the chain inside your anus and he would take it from your mouth and then he would take it from your from your where? He will take it from your nose and he will not be able to stand in his feet. Look at this, it's stupid. I mean, if, if every ring of it is equal to all the iron in the world, I mean, how much iron we have in the world? All of this will go inside a person's anus? Each ring. So imagine how many rings now. What is this? True story. 
Allah don't lie, Allah telling the truth. And then he says, if a drop of lead like this, and he pointed to the skull bone, when uh, uh, we're sent from heaven to the earth, and its distance of 500 years travel, because Muhammad said to them, the distance between every sky, there's seven skies, the distance between each of them is 500 years. It would reach the earth before night. Here we go, we can calculate now the speed and the distance of the heaven. Do we have any Muslim want to say to me I'm lying? As you see, I'm showing you everything. I'm, you know, it's in the screen. And this is your Ibn Kathir. The anus God. Allah will go after your anus. You don't believe in him? Your anus at risk. Secure your anus and believe in Allah. This is the message. You want your anus to be safe? Believe in Allah. And not only that, Muhammad, he went so far and he said that a Muslim, when he died, Shaitan, sorry, Allah, he will send him uh, a dragon. The dragon have 99 head, every head have nine, seven, seven heads. And he will go inside his anus. Muslims, is that true? This is why, you know, when somebody die, the Muslim Sunni specifically, they insert a big piece of cloth or cotton inside uh, his anus. If you remember the, the, the Pakistani guy who made a video about the the punishment of the grave. You remember him? He was hilarious, if you remember. So he was saying to you, if you read Quran, that protect your anus. If you read Quran, that reading will protect your anus from the dragon who will go inside your anus. And the dragon, he have nine, uh, 90 head and each head have uh, 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 nine or seven head, depending in the story. Let me try to find you uh, the reference. Hold on. Okay. I found the hate I'm trying to find a link in English, but hmm. Anyway, I, I found it in Arabic. You can we can translate the Arabic. Let us go here, translate to English. Okay. Read it from the Prophet. Blah 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 blah. Okay. There's uh, that Allah He will send uh, on the believer a ninety nine. Uh, you know, this is what this is one dragon actually, not ninety nine dragons. Uh, uh, one dragon have ninety nine head, and then he have seven head for each head. Let us see here different one. Okay, so that ninety nine dragons will be placed over the infidel in his grave, which will gnaw at him and stain him until our is established. And if the dragon from it blew into earth, would not grow green. This is how poison is, uh, is poison too. Uh, in translation is not really accurate, but what we can do. You know? Yeah. So you are in the grave now, and there's a dragon playing with your anus.
uh, all those uh, all this garbage stories Islam is my friend Islam is all true you know and you know you can say this is metaphorical because as you see describing about really dragon it's not like metaphorical dragon it's something living a life and it's a creature uh, it's have description and it's going to bite you know yeah uh, see here let us see why the word seven seven head I want to see seven Oh, you see here we go do you know that the dragon is 70 uh, translation here yeah the dragon is he have is 70 snake in the same time he is 70 snake. so this dragon have 70 head here in this hadith and every head has uh, every every snake have seven heads so the dragon is 70 snake one dragon so they have one body then they have branches of 70 snake. Then every snake have seven heads. All right. And they will be sitting on the dead body of the human who did not obey Allah. And they will be biting him, scratching him, playing with his anus until the judgment day. True story. I mean, who can deny that? You know, you cannot deny this. I mean, it must be true. We have to be honest here. All those things are true stories, right? Uh, let me see if I can find this one in English. Yeah, here we go. I found this one in English. Hold on. Um. Here, this one they are saying this one is Daif. The one we found in English, it says Daif. <clears throat> Anyway, this is Islam, what you can do. It's a stupid cult full of stupid stories. And you have to be an idiot to believe in it. Yeah. So anyway, do we have any Muslim want to say anything? Please, if you are a Muslim and you have a sheikh and you want to refute me, you are more than welcome. And trust me, I will speak to you nicely. You see, I'm rude with the one who's rude with me. Speak to me nicely. Like yesterday, we have this guy, Qasim. He called me. I spoke to him very nice, correct? The coward, after he hung up with me, he started calling me names in the in the in the comment section. Go and see. So you speak to me nicely. I speak to you nicely. I will call you my friend. I will speak to you nicely, kindly. Don't be rude. Otherwise, I will I will give you a shower you deserve. As simple as that. Be nice. We are nice to you. You want to be rude? You think you can intimidate us by being rude? That will not work with me. I will whip the floor with your face. With no mercy. So speak nice to us, we will be nicer to you. You are welcome here to debate. We don't want to fight. We are not here to fight. We are here to see the truth. The truth will set you free. <clears throat> 